What's going down, my fellow Knicks fans? My Knicks supporters worldwide, New York City, nationwide. You know it's that time of season is approaching. The scheduling just came out. Knicks scheduling is looking pretty good for us. There's a few advantages we can take. A few disadvantages, of course, you know, long road games. It is what it is. Even though we're in a rebuilding mode this year, we're still getting games nationally televised. We have five nationally televised games on uh, ESPN and TNT. We got a matchup against Indiana on October 31st, against Houston, of course, Mike D'Antoni and Carmelo Factor. That will be on December 6th. And on Christmas, we're playing against Milwaukee. And then also, once again, versus Indiana, for some reason, ESPN loves that matchup. Second time they're gonna have a matchup against Indiana with us, and that's, that'll be on January 11th. And then on February 1st, which is a better matchup, is us against Boston, which that's pretty much gonna be our future rival in our division. Our division is gonna be very interesting, especially with Philly. But sticking to the schedule, you know, this year we do also have a Martin Luther King, uh, a Martin Luther uh, Jr. King Day game, and that'll be against OKC. And that'll be on Monday, January 21st. Our All-Star Weekend this week, this year will be, uh, of course, in Charlotte. They actually got it this time around. And hopefully they can keep their mouths closed so they can actually keep it. But that'll be on February 15th through 17th. And then, you know, of course, hopping into the scheduling, we have a young group of, you know, we have a young squad and it's good for them to get their confidence up early and they got a good opportunity to do so. Um, out of the first, I would say, out of the first seven games, there's a good four winnable games. Actually, yeah, I would say out of the first seven games, four of them are very winnable. And that'll be against Atlanta, which is our very first matchup. Our second matchup is against Brooklyn. And then we play Boston. That one's, you know, probably going to go to Boston. But I believe it's a winnable matchup for us when we go up against Milwaukee. You know, they just lost Jabari Parker. That team, that team is still trying to find their identity. Um, they got Matthew Della Vadova. I mean, what are they really going to do? And then, of course, they got one of the best players in the Eastern Conference. And, and uh, but who knows? But we also faced Miami in that in that same uh, in that same stretch. But then our tough matchup, we do play the champion Golden State Warriors early, and you know, pretty much. By the end of January, we'll be we'll play the Golden State Warriors twice already. So we'll pretty much get that out of the way. But also key matchups, you know, everyone wants to pay attention to is uh Coach Fisdale is gonna go back to Memphis with the Knicks on November 25th. We'll play against the Grizzlies and also on February 3rd, we'll also play against the Grizzlies. So that'll be interesting, you know, a little revenge matchup for Coach Fisdale. Um again, you know. Of course, we're going to go up against the King, Mr. LeBron James. You know, he went West Coast on us. But, you know, we'll face uh, the Lakers in L.A. on January 4th. And then they'll be coming to MSG, which I'm pretty sure everyone is going to be, you know, fiending to get tickets. And that'll be March 17th. LeBron James will come to NYC. We'll hit up the Garden in his uh, new yellow tacky Laker jerseys. And also this year we do have a London game against uh, John Wall and the Wizards. And that's also another dynamic of the Eastern Conference. I'm pretty sure we should be fine against. I'm not too big on John Wall and the Wizards. I feel like, you know, they already peaked pretty much. I'm surprised they didn't break up that team over the summer. Just getting Dwight Howard is like, it's pretty much putting, you know, it's like, you know, putting a, you know, an icy hot on your leg or something. It's just... It's just temporary relief, you know? Not gonna really solve the problem. But also, in the month of January, which usually happens almost every season for some reason, especially in the past couple of years, the Knicks will, will go on a six game road trip. And that'll actually start on um, December 27th all the way through January 8th. We'll be going, we'll be going on this major road trip once again. Every January we get, we pretty much get burned during these uh, long West Coast road trip. But what's good this year is that if we're still battling the playoff position, which I believe we will be battling for playoff position, 
But none of these teams in the East are really strong like that, especially the Bucks. I don't know why is everyone so up in arms on uh, you know with Milwaukee Bucks, but we do have a long road. I mean, a long home game stretch at the end of the season. Very interesting. Um, pretty much at the end of March, all into the beginning of April. From March 20th all the way through April 1st, we have six home games. Uh, we will play against three West Coast teams and three East Coast teams. I mean, Eastern Conference teams, I should say that. Uh, Toronto, Miami, and Chicago. And then the Western Conference teams will be Utah, Denver, and LA Clippers. So, you know, none of those matchups are, are truly crazy, maybe except for Toronto. But we should we should fare pretty decent if we're healthy and if Porzingis is back. We should we should be able to make a nice little run at the playoffs there. But other than that, you know, things are looking, you know. Things are looking pretty decent for us. It's, it is going to be a rebuilding season. But, you know, and all in all, everyone just, you know, keep the faith up. You know, just sit back and enjoy. Watch our young guys just get experience this year. That's pretty much it. But also, I'm going to leave you guys with, um, just check out down below in the video. There's a nice little dope playlist with some current New York City artists. Yo, trust me, the culture has never left this city. Just the radio just stopped promoting. Check out the playlist. Um, leave your comment below. Let's have let's have some good dialogue, yo. Everyone stay safe. Peace.